Hi, my friends. I'm so glad you joined me for meeting for worship today. I am getting all settled in, and you do the same. Get all comfy. Are you ready? Okay, let's take a few breaths. So we always talk about how taking some breaths helps to settle our body and settle our mind. And we've talked about how sometimes when we're frustrated, we can jump up and down or we can run or we can do stretches and that will help settle our mind and body. Another way we can do this is to go out in nature. Nature has so many healing properties for us and it makes us feel happy when we're outside. One of the things I really like to do when I'm going out in nature is to go to the beach. Today, I'm gonna to read you a story called A Day at the Beach. So go ahead and settle in and remember, I'll read it first and then I'll show you the pictures because this has a lot of great illustrations. And this story is by Marcia Vassalou. It is fun to go to the beach on a summer morning. We carry a picnic basket and a cooler, and we take folding chairs and towels to lie on, and an umbrella to shade us from too much sun. We spend the whole day at the beach. Okay. Isn't that a great picture? The first thing we do is dash into the ocean. We swim and splash and pretend to be whales spouting water. The lifeguards watch for the big waves and for swimmers who have gone too far out to sea. When we are tired of swimming, we play in the sand. We dig a tunnel until our fingers meet. We bury each other under mountains of sand with only a head and a toe sticking out. Have you guys done that? That's fun. It's fun to build a castle in the wet sand. We use our pails to make towers and we scoop out sand to make a moat. When the water comes too close, it fills the moat and surrounds our castle. Suddenly, a big wave comes and washes everything away. The castle, the mountain, the tunnel, even our pail. But another wave brings the pail right back. Waves bring all sorts of things to the beach. Sea glass and bottles, shells and smooth stones, and beautiful pieces of driftwood. Twice a day, the tide flows in and the water covers most of the sand. When the tide goes out, the beach is wide again. Now it's time for lunch, the best time of all. Our sandwiches taste better than they do at home, even if they do have a little sand in them. The hot sun makes us thirsty, so we drink cold lemonade from cups. We can't go in the water right after eating, but we can take our pails and go for a walk. Over by the sand dunes, away from the water, people toss Frisbees back and forth. Look at their nice picnic lunch. Others are flying kites on long strings. There are no trees to get in the way. Farther down the beach, where it's quiet, a few people are fishing. I used to do that when I was a little girl.
We love to walk along the beach and pick up polished stones and pieces of driftwood. The flat stones are best for skipping on the water. We also look for pretty shells to take home. Look at all these beautiful shells. Have you seen some of those on the beach? This man is digging up clams for his supper. Clams bury themselves deep into the sand, but they leave little holes behind them. Sometimes the clams squirt water and sprinkle your legs. We find some rocks to covered with seaweed. We find some rocks covered with seaweed. They look funny and shaggy and like shaggy animals sitting in the water. The tide goes out and it leaves all kinds of plants and animals along the shore. They need the seawater to stay alive, but they can spend some time on the beach. And here is a whole bunch of other sea animals that are at the beach. The waves have piled seaweed on the beach and we use it for long hair and curly beards. Oh my goodness, look at them. That's fun. When the tide went out, it left shallow tide pools behind. Wiggly little fish are trapped in there until the tide comes back. We can see many things in the shallow pool. A school of minnows is swimming here. They change direction in a flash, turning all at once. Barnacles wave feathery brushes that pick up food from the water and a crab hides under a stone. Snails crawl on the bottom of the tide pool, leaving squiggly trails behind them. One snail seems to have claws, but it's not a snail. It's a tiny hermit crab. Look at the hermit crabs. Some of my friends might have hermit crabs that you have in a little cage at home. My kids used to have those when they were little. We have walked so far down the beach that we only, we're the only people around. It's getting late and the seabirds have become very bold. Sandpipers run along the water's edge. Seagulls glide on air currents in the sky, barely moving their wings. Terns fly along with their heads down looking for food. A skimmer flies close to the water with its beak open, scooping up fish. As we start to walk back, we watch a seagull pick up a clam and drop it on a rock. The shell breaks open and the gull eats the soft animal inside. See that? They're pretty smart, aren't they? And here's a bunch of other seabirds that you might see if you go down the shore to the beach. It's the end of the day and the sun is setting. Our father has come to look for us. He waves, it's time to go home. Our parents have gathered the picnic basket, the cooler, the chairs, the towels, the books, and the umbrella. And we pack up all of our treasures that we found and say goodbye to the beach until the next time. You see the sun is starting to set. The beach is empty now and only one fisherman remains, hoping for one last catch. Isn't that a nice story? I really like the cover of the book too. So my friends, do you think they had a great time at the beach? 
It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Just to get out there in nature and do something different. So whatever you do this summer, if you go to the beach or you go up to the mountains or you go for a hike with your family, listen for the birds, look for all the cute little animals and even the bugs that are kind of interesting and have a wonderful time and know that it's really good for you to be out there in nature and notice how happy you feel at the end of the day. Okay, friends, see you later. Love you. Mwah.